Trying to get used to the new OBS studio. This, and I'm on a different mic. Hopefully it sounds great. But it's also five in the morning. So. I was watching the market last night about one. What if? About four hours ago. You could make it all real. And uh, testing new songs, so. I don't know what's on this song. However. We're looking at quite the move. It sort of looks like it is leading in, and the last few weeks have led into this, so. Nothing too crazy. Um, NASDAQ did hit a demand zone. Not saying that's gonna hold or anything, it's just, it's there. Um, I mean, we're just getting started if something occurs. Lots of. Is it the Nikki? For the. Yeah. Can't remember the futures. I think this is it. Yeah, for the Japanese market. Four hours. So, big move down. Nice wick bottom, but that's something we can't trust right now. We've entered bear territory. A weak low. Yeah. Looks like that's a big move. So we just kind of watch it. Uh, ES moving down. Uh, it's currently 5 in the morning, like I said, and really we're just bouncing off of demand zones here, which are counting for the bottom. And then we get bounces off of it, so we'll just have to see on stock open tomorrow. But I know that Robinhood block trading from retail selling overnight, things like that, so let's move over to Bitcoin. We had incredible moves the last few days. Got our wonderful McDonald's pattern. Um, let's switch over here to the main Bitcoin chart. The Bounce between a spiral line up to a new level. It's very hard to tell what we're going to do here. This normally is a bottom, but this is not not looking too good. I mean, we uh, we really got to tell what's going on here. Twelve hour looks definitely bearish. That's not confirmed. Uh, Twelve hour does confirm at in about two hours. So. Really, we need to see this increase and form a bottom above one of these two here before we really can decide that being a bottom. This is a massive move. And unfortunately, we're seeing that right now. This is, this is the biggest move since really that, that push up on the daily back in February. Definitely on the on the way down. Um, you can see here on the right to the the amount of money exiting. I, I I haven't seen this many coins in the multiple like in the double digits of sell off pressure. So, really, we just need to watch it on market open. Here in three hours. But this is definitely, you know, you got the up, everything's green. And then you got the down, everything's red. So we'll see. 
We're definitely getting the, um, possibly getting the Black Swan event that we need after the halving that we got in 2020. And, uh, I can't recall if we got that in 2016 or not. Uh, definitely keep an eye on this because if we open and we start dumping, it's going to be crazy. And I really feel like we're going to. It's going to drag everything down. Gold pushing down. Um, I really don't know where to get news anymore. It's always so hard to find it. I mean, you gotta look on Twitter and, and find random stuff, but all the news is suppressed. Like, you can't, you can't find anything worth looking at. So, not really sure. Iran came out a few hours ago and said that they're not looking to do a escalation, regional escalation, so whatever that means, we'll see. Yeah. So we're seeing Taiwan stock market sur suffers worst loss since 1967. Wow. Okay. So, you know, Japan has a massive market, one of the biggest economies in the world. And if they're having this huge sell off, that would bring a lot of shit down. I mean, we could be starting a recession. A lot of people were fearing that a couple weeks ago. They were saying that the recession's gonna start. Anyways, I hope you guys are prepared in case something like that happens. And that you're always prepared for worst case scenario in the world. Um, it is hard to prepare. It took me a long time. I got a little, little something, not much. But, um, yeah, make sure you're, you're staying safe in this market. <clears throat> I don't, I don't really have a whole lot of say. It's, it's, it, I mean, we're kind of at the mercy of it moving. There's not really, I mean, we just got to wait for it to, to bounce from one of these spider lines. It, it looks like it did touch the psychosis indicator line. <clears throat> but we hadn't even opened the market today. So this this two day on market cipher is, <laughs> is very bearish. I mean, you can see what happened here. We had, we had to push down with these massive moves down. We have this, I mean, we have to push down. My levels. Uh, for Bitcoin, so I can get a more cleaner chart that I plot psychosis on. So we did bounce from the psychosis level. I really feel like we're going lower. I really feel like this may be more of an area that we could bottom. Um, but we also have these. So, um, if we hit some sort of recession, black swan, where the world goes into a recession depression I mean Bitcoin is not gonna it's not gonna stay up because people are gonna sell it um, in theory though in 2008 remember Bitcoin was created because of the banker bailout on 2008 because of the hyperinflation because of the false creation of money to bail out the bankers so technically Bitcoin is a recession asset it should be it should be something that people get into as a safe haven but it's too young and it just dumps with everything um, and, and this is disregarding my ideas of the market being manipulated. Sorry if the music was too loud.
fuck. This ain't keep an eye on these levels. So I'm not gonna get too tin foil. Yeah, I I mean I sold some of my stuff at a huge freaking loss. So that and and luckily it's dropped and uh way below <laughs> still way below what I had it at. At least I got out with literally one tenth of what I put in. And uh but we'll build it back. Just to show you how the psychosis indicator these moves here um, push through the spider line, the psychosis line. Rejects, pushes down. This one actually held it, brought it up, and I think that we're going to reject back down when the market opens and push lower. I mean, the, the, if we're just getting started on the stock market to dump like this, we got a long way down. And I'm not saying Bitcoin's dead. I'm saying that it's just really done for the moment. Just say. And I mean, it can recover next year and uh, push to the end of the year like we were predicting. So yeah, we just got to keep an eye on it. But yeah, I wanted to make this guy uh, video, guys, to um, kind of comfort everyone into knowing what's going on and, and seeing... Uh, some decent charts without some bias on it. Hope I didn't push a bias or anything, but these are our levels. And um, I'll try to make another one this evening, recapping what happened to the market, and we can all figure it out. All right, guys, take care.